But what makes for a good show is debate. That Terrell Owens comment stung Stephen A. The show is more important than my ego. I was a huge fan of Stephen A. Smith, and I still am. I still am a huge, massive fan of Stephen A. Smith. Um, because me getting into YouTube, doing the football hots, huge, huge inspiration just based on just his extravagance, his exuberance, and just how entertaining he made um, sports analysis. But Stephen A., you messed up here. You, he messed up here in how he handled this. And I think that because all I needed was a confirmation. And once I just got confirmation that you were the guy who were responsible for sacking Max Kellerman, that's crazy. Great for you to um, admit it because honesty is, is key. Honesty is king, but this is unfortunate. And, and here says the whole thing. Way back when ESPN first take, what made first take amazing? What made it hands down the best sports debate show on the planet? And what made it revolutionize how we view sports analysis? It was because of the back and forth between Stephen A and Skip. Stephen A would challenge Skip. Skip would challenge Stephen A. But Stephen A always had respect for Skip. Skip also had respect for Stephen A. But with, even if they had respect, they still were ready to challenge guys and debate guys. So Skip now goes over to Undisputed and then he then brings in Shannon. Shannon has said time and time again, if not for Skip, but Skip, Skip, but Skip, but Skip. If not for Skip, he wouldn't be where he was. And he always acknowledges that. But once those cameras start rolling, bust Skip up. Bust Skip up. And that's what he always wants to, 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 to freaking do. And I think that you have to... Because Skip knows that. Yeah, I am the star of the show. But the show is more important than my ego. The show is more important than my ego. That even if Shannon exposes him, because there are many times that Shannon has exposed Skip and Skip has, has reacted so forth, Skip just knows that as long as it makes for a great show, it's entertaining and it's an engaging, keep it. It's good. Leave it there. So we now go over to first take. Max Kellerman is really good. Max Kellerman is really good. Remember, this guy came from boxing and so forth. And when you just look at how he puts across his, his, his points, how concise they are, and just how he's able just to really um, put them in a very well-defined manner, he's that dude. He is the African dude. So, and every, see for me, my main thing that, that I go to first take or for is for basketball. I'm not really into NFL I know there are other sports, but basketball, well, that's, that's probably my second or my third favorite sport. So whenever um, playoff season starts, boom, I go there immediately after every playoff game. And for me, during the playoffs, I would switch. Because Undisputed has a certain flavor that First Take doesn't have. First Take has a certain flavor that um, Undisputed doesn't have because Max brings something that Shannon doesn't bring. Shannon brings something that Max doesn't bring. So it was nice seeing how First Take would... Um, analyze this game and how a bunch of people would analyze the other game and it was cool. And I think for Stephen A, this wasn't about chemistry, bro. Come like this this hasn't this had nothing to do with all we we, we, we the, the chemistry was lacking. Where because I'm sorry like unless somebody can tell me the numbers weren't dipping. The numbers weren't going down. You weren't losing ratings. And nobody was saying that, man, this is just in favorites. Oh no, this seems off. Guys are like, okay, this is different from Skip and Steven, but this is this is still good because people appreciated just how good Max was. And people appreciated how Max would challenge Stephen A. And now we're getting to the crux of the matter as to what this is all about. This is not about chemistry and not getting along longer than the vibe not just being there. This is the fact that Stephen A did not like how Max was challenging him. But it gets even much more com complex. Because beyond that, as I, as I said again, um, the show should always come before your ego. Put the, the, the show is bigger than your ego. The show must always come before your ego. But beyond that, that Terrell Owens comment stung Stephen A. It stung it. And ever since that, oh, that um, comment when Terrell Owens said that 
um, you know what? Some some people say that um, um, Max is blacker than you. It's always stung it. And for me, of course, Terry Owens saying that is so awkward to be saying that with another black guy. They should really say that in public and so forth. So I didn't like Terry Owens saying that. But you know what? I cast my mind back because I remember way back when this is when I was a Stephen A guy. Oh, Stephen A, Stephen A, Stephen A. And my big brother said to me, just doing the whole Kaepernick thing, about how Stephen A was going in on Kaepernick. And my brother said, why does Stephen A always go hard on, on black guys? And I wanted to ignore it. I was like, well, no, you know, he's, he's equal for everyone like that, blah, blah, blah. I wanted to ignore it. But my brother said, why is it that for black athletes specifically, Stephen A is just like that little bit extra? He goes just that bit more intense on black athletes. And when I noticed plates back, I'm like, yeah. Kwame Brown, stay off the weed, and all the kind of, like, he doesn't go at white athletes and degrade and absolutely abuse white athletes the same as black athletes. And for Stephen A, you've got to choose your side. We know what side Jalen Rose is on. We know what side Shannon Sharp is on. We know what side, side Max Kellerman is on. And we know what side um, that's Clan Isa, we, we, which lock is on. For Stephen A, you can't be like, Man, you know, why did they give this dude the um, coaching job? They should have given it to a black coach. Black coaches don't have enough jobs. And then every time that there's a black artist, you completely berate them. You go crazy against them. And you have that crazy take on Kaepernick. Like, because it's as if, Stephen, you're trying to sort of make sure that you can appeal to um, the African-Americans and so forth, but also appeal to the um, far-right Republicans as well. It's like, because, Stephen, he is a Republican, but he also wants to maintain that he, he, is, he is black. So you can't be both ways. But the issue you have here with this whole thing with first take is, it's a, of course, it's a bad move. And I think Stephen A, beyond just the whole Terrell Owens bit, which was definitely a major part of why he wanted him off, Stephen A was like, oh, no, no, I have to be the head guy. I have to be the main guy. And I can't be stopped. And I, I, don't, I don't want to be challenged in that way. Because Stephen A, because look, Stephen A, he knows that you're now in a position where like you are the guy is very highly paid. He's got his own show, Stephen A's world. So his stock is right to say, no, 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 no. I've got to be that main guy. I've got to be the superstar. And what's going to happen is the show is going to suffer. Like, first take is going to decline. Like, Stephen A's brand is still going to be strong because he's got his show and so forth. But the first take as a show is going to decline and Undisputed will be the only th show in town. Because, see, what Skip realized and what Stephen A first realized is that Skip always knew that it's not about me. Like, Skip always knows that, no, look, all that matters is the show. All that matters is the show. And it's a tiny little bit different because Skip doesn't have the much more complex, nuanced racial elements, which was that Terrell Owens moment that really stung Stephen A. But for Stephen A, that's your fault based on the way that you've carried yourself on that show. But my thing, though, is... Steve, Steve, you've got to, see, also, you've always got to be careful. Stephen A, you are amazingly talented you are a big reason why i got into youtube doing football analysis like you were a major inspiration so Stephen A is incredibly ta talented and he knows it he knows that he's amazingly talented and he's a very unique personality because he marriages a history of journalism experience and a unique personality don't undersell yourself never understand yourself never oversell yourself because Stephen A don't assume people will always roll with you. And that based off your talent and so forth, hey man, you're always, always going to have guys. Because you've always got to have your finger on the pulse of the streets and of what people are thinking about. Because you could just lose your audience like that. You could have your talent and so forth, but you can lose your audience like that. And I just feel that because Max, I'm going to follow wherever Max goes, because Max is just... Because you've lost an asset. And for Stephen A, what's gonna, who are you going to replace Max with? Like the Michael Evan guy? Is this just going to be a shouting contest? Or are you, not, or are you going to now replace him with yes men? Guys who just acquiesce to you and guys who just look, look up to you and not really challenge you. Then that doesn't make for a good show. What makes for a good show is debate. Is back and forth. Undisputed is amazing because you have two guys who respect each other. But once those cameras start rolling, gloves are off and they attack each other. It's why that show, Everyday Struggle, was so good. Everyday struggle with Joe Budden academics it was so good because these guys really were at totally different ends of the spectrum. They argued, they debated, and that debate made for an amazing show. Like the LeBron thing, like Shannon and Skip are totally 
miles apart on the whole um, LeBron thing. But that, that, that is actually one of the most fascinating <laughs> debates that I never agree upon. So for Stephen A. Wright, then, it's like, look, you're at the top on the, of the throne. Nobody stays the king forever. Nobody. Nobody, no one stays on top forever. And you should never assume that you'll always be on top. And I just think that, you know, um, so you're still so amazing and, and, and so forth. Although that's commented by the Nigerian team was a bit, you commented about black athletes. And this is pretty much sacking a guy, not because of a lack of chemistry. It's not, it's not had nothing to do with chemistry, but because you didn't like how the guy was challenging you. And he didn't like how he was maybe taken away from your shine. Therefore, you're putting yourself ahead of the show itself. Whereas that the show should always be king. Like the vid, subscribe if you're new, comment below. One love, stay black.